So don't go to here. This stance didn't exist as such. It exists once I've stepped. It's there to support it when this foot comes up again. Right, once your foot's in, you don't need it. You've got the back up from the back leg. Right? So it's another stance here. Your stance is not... There's never really a stance. It's always changing. No, it's an understanding. Once you've, once you've entered into the fight, once you're within the fight range, at this amount, and at the outside limit of your ability to hear it, you can just about reach it with a... You flick a throat without shifting your body forward. I you so there, you can't be hit it. To hit it, your hip has to come forward. Oh, so yeah, there's, more, there's more of a movement required, so that makes it slightly slower. Mm -hmm. Very slight, but it's still slower. The point being that this is the sort of like the, the boundary of where I don't need a stance. Yeah. Once I'm inside this area, I need a stance and a switch to move into control and I need me stepping to cover my centre line as I'm using it. I need my arms to come up to a position where I can protect my centre line. You want safe hands as well. That's what I'm, so I'm, but I'm not going to be stopping. Once I've used the technique, once the technique is used, it's redundant. Yeah. You should be going on to something else. It's going to be constantly changing. All right. Once you use it, it work, you don't want to say, try the same technique. Even if it works, even if it's worked, you don't stay there. You're under the next one. You're under the next you one. You're under the next one. You're under the next one. You're not standing there waiting for a photograph to be taken. No. If I'm moving in, I'm moving in all from my. This leg shifting was in. It's all from my. It's in all from my. I'm pushing. I'm shifting. I'm changing. Yeah. Something's going to be happening. I'm using my leg. It's somewhere. I'm motivated all the time. So everything's changing. You're in a constant change. Mm -hmm. You're never going to be in a position long enough to... Alright. You use your understanding from your position, mm -hmm. but you don't go into those. So That's why do in the form. this doesn't exist as a fighting stance. You're not... It might exist in a stance if you step to there, but then you should be doing something else. You don't stand there in any position. You should never be stopped. You should never be stood still in any position. So you really get an understanding from the stance, how your stance relates to all positions. And movement. I mean, that, that's what an understanding of your legs will give you, how yeah. your legs can be used. That's what you've got to understand. But weight ratio is where, where we can push off immediately the speed of it, or how to shift into something, so you get a speed of understanding. So you can use like a momentum through your legs as well. Yeah, yeah. So now all this, what we're looking at is very precise positions. Mm -hmm. They're very precise understanding. Something that you can analyse, criticise and judge. Right. Make assumptions. Visualise what, what angles you can come at. Where you're weak, how you can cover it. Now where you have to go to, to, to push and how the yeah, energy yeah. is coming. Again, this, this really is back to... I hold it. So and roll it, little turn roll it. Little your little turns, that's when your little turns become strong to understand not just the arm position, sure. but the structure of the body now is drifting down to where you're dropping down into the floor. So when you're doing the techniques, when sort of little things come off, they're coming off the floor, you're using mm -hmm. things. When you're coming in, you're, you're using something, you're, you're using yeah. the structure of your body down the part of the body. You can link up on the floor right through to your arm. Yeah. And the, the more you link in, the stronger it becomes. I'm just using small body shifts. Yeah. If I actually sort of like step oh, in yeah. with something. You can feel you get a well, it's strong strength from right down the floor. Mm. That's how it works. And that's what using muscle. I was relaxed and tense using everything. Using everything. So it's an understanding of using everything. Uh. But being able to justify positions, how you use it. Mm -hmm. Understand like, oh, we're going, going back away, you know, but, but the feet position, where you where you place your feet, yeah. how you place your feet. Yeah. So it's all the well, position is very important because it relates to the strength of the structure. Mm -hmm. Like anything. So an interesting one um, on Tuesday was a lot of being taught by somebody else. And he was taught his dance out and he's gone so lifting. Right. Now, we talk about the Gansa being flat here. Right? This, this line here, the, the flat of the hand there, 
gives you the strength of the plane. So you, you've got a flatten it out to get the notes. So this is this is from here. It's in this direction, that precise line, this plane coming out of the arm this way, where this is where this structure is strong. So if I try to come into it this way, it's very strong. Mm. What he was doing was he was taught to do it like that. Now, what's happened here is you've totally changed the length. Now, the strength of this is now coming out this way. And it's no longer strong that way. No, because you've changed the alignment of the arm. You've changed the structure oh. of it. So the difference between that and that a big difference. is a big difference. To do it, to protect this way would mean that something might actually be coming in this way. Yeah. To deal with that. To deal with it in this way. If I wanted to, if I wanted to go into it that way, would be that something was coming into it, so I'd have to go, I'd be going into it this way. All right. So it's coming from out there, you've got the wrong kind of alignment. Yeah. So it's, it's how this, so the difference between what, what? That. So it's the difference between the proper position right. and that. Just that little turn. Like that little turn off from that. See, you can feel the weakness in the position. Yeah, it, 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 the, the change, it totally changes the position. If you don't understand the precise nature of, of the position, it's cancerable. It's, don't worry about the name. It's understanding its structure. Understand how it's affected. Its structure and its function. Yeah. Its strength, where it's strengthened. Mm -hmm. When it's weak. How you understand it. So it's, all it so it's all this linkage between everything. All your techniques, you've got to understand how things are strong. It's not just, you know, how high is it tans mm -hmm. now? No, I don't kind know. Of information is, the, the information of just doing it is not good to you. You're not having any benefit. But you've got to so understand you it with somebody. Yeah. You've got to understand it using it. You've got to understand the use of the energy, which is the important thing. You can accelerate your understanding by the use of it, by knowing the use of it. Yeah. You can't do that by uh, just more than one thing about the one move. Again, in the the, the, you've got the tan cell, the tan cell that goes out. It's just, I mean, that's the tan cell that goes out this way it is done because, in my belief anyway, people who don't are like teaching it too quickly. They're trying to use teaching the first form, which has got the tan cell in. But because in the first form there's no turning, yeah. the teacher, because there's no turning, if a punch comes in, you have to do that. Uh, there's no kind of emotion in it. You can't, no, it's, just, it's just you're committing it to a sideways move. Yeah, well, because but you're leaving yourself open. So that just doesn't make sense. So, I mean, because if your punch comes in, you do a tan, you hit. You've got to know to turn. You've got mm -hmm. punch to turn. You've got to know to turn. So this is why your first form is not about, you don't, you're not practicing technique. No. You're understanding center line. You're understanding line. center line. Understanding, you're developing your energy. Right. Understanding how to use it and practicing the use of energy. You're practicing using the energy in your hand. Right. One, then once you've gone through it, then you can understand turn and yeah, how to yeah, turn yeah. and then you start linking the two together. Then you can start understanding. So your second form about movement, right. how you understand how to step with energy, the immediacy of the lift with the step to initiate. Yeah. So you learn to develop things together. After the second form, then you start learning how to fight as such through your techniques in the third form. Mm -hmm. Elbow and skin, mind stuff. But you've got to understand the technical side. You've got to understand the precise nature of position. Mm -hmm. Through your cheese cell, it allows you to understand that. You need to be very precise. That's why you need to do cheese cell at a very close range. So you can analyze it. You can analyze the position. So if your position is out, that is down, it's immediately obvious right. that it's there. There's a mistake you can take. You want to be aware of the mistakes. Yeah. So if something comes in, I go, you're in. Yeah. That hand's in. Hands are not covered. And my hand isn't high enough to threaten you. So your hand should have been coming straight in. Right. It's, it's through understanding that you've got a protection with yourself. So a punch comes in. Punch. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. All right. I'm immediately ready to respond. I'm going to be changing. I want, I want to be getting the opening. Something's going to be happening. From understanding good position and where my hands are, I can understand what I should be doing.